Welcome back to Darkwood. This is the beginning of... What is it? Day 13? Anything new in my journal? Nope. I think it's day 13. So I've gone ahead and picked up all the traps to get all the scrap metal. Did some... Some general processing and stuff. I moved the bathtub here. Because I was kind of getting trapped here in the corner. And hitting against the bathtub and stuff. So I just went ahead and moved it out of here. And just used it to sort of barricade the door. Of course, if I wanted to barricade the door for real, I could just actually literally barricade it. I mean, I suppose I only need one door unbarricaded. If I... Yeah, okay, let's barricade one of the doors. So, let's grab some wood and some nails. I re-barricaded the two places that they had uh, broken through, by the way. They broke this one and this one. Let's... I'll just leave this door open. I'll barricade this one. Because this is the one that I used to kind of quickly get to the generator. Yeah, okay. There we go. Barricaded and bathtub in the way. I don't think I can just dismantle it, right? No, no, don't do... Uh oh. <laughs> I hope I didn't waste it. Can I just... This is actually something I need to test. Can I barricade everything and then get my materials back by unbarricading it? Let's see. So I've got eight boards, seven nails. It's gonna use three boards and all seven nails. I should have eight boards and seven nails. Oh, no. Okay, so you don't want to just barricade, unbarricade. You actually lose most of the materials. In fact, I don't think I have any more nails, actually. No, I don't, so I can't barricade that anymore. <laughs> uh, I wish I could just make nails. Oh, let's make a lockpick. It's always good to have on us. Okay, so here's something I want to do. I was thinking about the shovel. I was pondering the possibility of using it as a weapon. But I was thinking, hell no, I don't want the thing to break. But, you know, I want to keep it just in case I can uncover some more things. But the thing is, if it does break, it's not like it just disappears or anything like that. Like, everything that breaks, it just becomes unusable. And, if you look at what it takes to repair it, it takes boards and two scrap. I mean, it would probably cost more if it was actually damaged, I'm assuming, but it doesn't take any rare material. Just fairly common stuff. So, I'm okay with repairing it, I think. And, as I says, it's heavy, but it has a good reach. Good reach is very important for me, especially against those savages with those long sticks. And, I was looking at upgrade, you can sharpen it using some rocks and eight scrap. You can make it inflict more damage. Unfortunately, that is going to use up all of my scrap, which means I won't have any scrap for making any sort of chain traps for the next night, but I think it's worth it. This will give me good reach, probably a lot more damage than a crude weapon like this. Yeah, let's do it. And if I had more scrap, I could also increase the weapon durability. Yeah, so for like a moderate increase to durability, it takes scrap and a pipe. For a very good increase, it takes scrap and another shovel head, which would be quite expensive. But yeah, hopefully this is a decent weapon. So let's dump this weapon. Start using this. Hmm. So it looks like you can't like refill or repair the lantern, you just have to make a new one. Two Molotovs is fine. One bandage, that's alright, I guess. Oh, I can make another bandage with alcohol. Or I can make another Molotov cocktail. You know what? I should probably use... Yeah, I'm going to use gas for Molotov cocktails for now, because I've got so much extra gas. Because you can make it with gas or with alcohol. 
I've got 12 empty bottles, but only one bottle of alcohol. So I'll use the alcohol for bandages and use the gas for the Molotov. Okay, two bandages, three Molotovs. I think we're ready to go. I could, I suppose, bring the tire to Piatrek. See if they want it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Also, should I fill up a generator with gas? I've got so much gas. I'll fill it up with at least that one. Just check the trader real quick. See if they say anything new or anything like that. Um, don't see anything new either. Oh, maybe I should buy some scrap. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some scrap. I can at least make one chain trap. Yeah, let's do that. Also, I notice when I die, not only do I lose my equipment and have to get it back, of course, but it also seems like when I wake up the next day, I don't get the plus 100 or plus whatever reputation with the trader. So I think that's another kind of punishment. Okay. Right. So. Where are we going? Where are we venturing to for the day? Oh, it marks lost inventory on the map? Oh. Huh. I never noticed that. Well, I guess I kind of want to head to... I'll head to Piatrek, get rid of the tire, and then head to the surrounding area. Because this is kind of the main unexplored areas around Piatrek's house. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's check out the shovel too, let's see the reach. Oof. So it's got a pretty long wind-up. But yeah, that definitely looks like a big sweeping attack. Hello. I'm gonna check something real quick. I keep trying to um, do this dodge. If you press control, it dodges like this. I keep trying to dodge attacks with that, and sometimes it... Like, against the enemies that have the long sticks, it works well because you're aiming at them, they attack straight at you, and you use that to get out of reach of their attack, hopefully. Get out of here. Um, but it doesn't work against enemies like the ones that throw rocks, because if you dodge backwards, then the rock still hits you. You need to dodge to the side, so you need to do this like kind of awkward thing that I keep trying to do and mostly fail, which is like, if the enemy's straight ahead of me, look to the side, then dodge, to try to dodge the rock. You coming at me this time? Whoa! Were they at max health? One hit? I didn't look at their health bar, but this weapon might be extremely powerful. My working hypothesis was that the savages without any sort of a weapon didn't seem to attack you, they just ran away, but this one did attack me. So now, I don't know. Time still isn't passing, so might as well use this opportunity to dump this stuff. Yeah, I think this might be kind of an amazing weapon. And it didn't use up that much of the durability. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So I want to just check the controls real quick and see if there's some way to, like, side dodge. Okay, I just looked at the help menu. And, well, unfortunately it looks like you can't dodge to the side. It's just a backwards dodge. But I found something interesting. 
It says if you press the middle mouse button, you get an alternative type of attack for your weapon. Oh! Okay. So normal attack, you gotta hold down right right mouse button. It takes like a second or two to wind up, then left click to attack. So it's got a bit of wind up before you can use it, and if you look up there in the top left, the stamina, the white bar, it takes one fourth of your stamina, one one segment. If you middle click, there's no wind up, it just like jabs right away. I mean, well, there is kind of a wind up, but you don't have to press multiple buttons and it's much quicker. You press it once and then it just kind of jabs. I kind of want to test it out on them. Uh, but if you look at the stamina, it uses significantly more. More than half. More than two segments. So I guess it's faster, but like less efficient? Try to dodge. Whoop! See, it's really hard. I like that attack. But yeah, it's really hard to dodge their stones. Oh, I just realized another advantage to the uh, middle click. Let me test something real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, I just realized another advantage to the middle click, and we're still on frozen time, by the way, so don't worry about that. Another advantage is that if you want to approach an enemy fast to attack them, previously you can't, really. Like, if you're charging up an attack, you can't sprint. If you sprint, it just cancels the charge up. Charge up, walk, you can walk, but if you try to sprint, it goes away. So that's why you tend to see me trying to kind of approach an enemy just like this, kind of slowly, because I kind of have to. It's either that or sprint up into its face and then charge up, but then you're probably just going to get attacked. But with a jab, you can. You can sprint and then just middle click. It works really well. Oh, I just ended the freeze time. My bad. Alright, let's be quick. I'm gonna go drink. Yes, yeah, so it's a nice advantage. But you do have to make sure you have enough stamina when you're sprinting, which remember takes quite a bit of stamina. You have to have enough stamina to do the middle click. It's not like, um, you know the Dark Souls stamina system where as long as you have even the tiniest sliver of stamina, you can perform an attack. It doesn't prevent you from performing an attack even if it would normally take more stamina than you have. Just as long as you have stamina, you can do an attack. This is different. You have to have the full amount of stamina to do the attack or it won't do it. Like, if I try to do it right now? Like, right now it won't. Oh god, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank god. Ooh. I'm sorry, doggy. Do I want to go ahead partially damaged? Um. Uh. I guess so. It's fine. It's fine, right? No, don't be silly. No, I will be silly. I don't want to waste a good quality bandage. I don't remember if I was in the process of saying something. Dog? So this is one of the ones that run away. Yeah, this weapon is really good.
It is definitely taking up quite a bit of the durability, though. Just because I keep attacking so much with it. Okay, Pia track. Oh, I forgot. Did I need a key to open this door or just a lockpick? Ah, just a lockpick, and at the time I didn't have one. Thank God I didn't need another lockpick for this thing. That would have made me sad. Pills, Molotov, fabric. Fine fabric. That is extremely valuable. I'm going to turn on the generator. Partially because it's just not my fuel, but also... Remember... Not the... Not that. Um, remember I have the moth ability, which I've kind of forgotten about. But yeah, if I stand next to an electric light source once a day, I should be able to heal. So let's try that. Okay, I'm next to it. Do I need to drag it? How do I do it? This is definitely an electric light source. I'm definitely next to it. I'm pushing it. I've dragged it. My health is not going up. Do I need to activate it somehow? Okay, I so saw on the controls that if I press the Q button, it opens a skill menu. Perhaps that'll do it? Ah. I'm guessing that doesn't appear if you're not standing next to a light source. Or it does. I'm assuming it just wouldn't work if you weren't next to a light source. There we go. Okay, so it's a pretty slow heal. I guess I'm maxed. I wonder if standing next to an electric light source would also count a flashlight. Hmm. Oh. That's cool, you can see sparks coming off of everything. Show item. Tire. Space rocket chassis. I only need one more part. Excellent. Oh. I would trade with him, but I've got some stuff that I need to pick up, actually. Let me go turn the generator off. I want to be able to use this as a healing spot, so... Don't want to run the generator out. Um, but yeah, there's my lost inventory. Should be around here, right? Didn't... I think I died up here. Yeah. Yeah, the chain. Three lock picks, metal pipe. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Kind of low on inventory space, but oh well. From here, let's go down into the left. That's when I discovered the dog, right? Is the dog still going to be there? I'm, I'm just thinking. I saw in the controls there's this far look. But it's not assigned to anything. It's set to right trigger on a console, but... I guess that's a console-only feature. Because I can't even assign it a key, actually. If you see these dots mean you could assign it to something. But there's nothing there for that. So, yeah, I guess it's a console-only feature. Okay. I just got a little bit paranoid that maybe Far Look was the uh, other skill that I got to be able to see further one, but I don't think so. Okay, just a normal dog. I'm sorry, doggy. What? There's another one? Where? Where is it? Too dangerous to leave them alive. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, oh no, oh no. That's a big dog. Uh, but yeah, the, the noise, that's just this dog. It's bugged out, I guess. Please, please be quiet. I definitely heard a big dog. Where? 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 Let's be very careful. Big dogs equal big pain. There it is. Oh. Whew, they're so fast. Wonder if they were protecting anything. Another burster on the ground there. Is this a special tree? Oh, there's a body there? Corpse of some unlucky bastard who's been tied to the tree. Is this marked on the map? So we're just below the wolf's camp, so let's head down. It's a pile of skeletons. Looks like it. Can barely see them, though. Okay, I'm... I might have a good shovel, but uh, I don't want to go for one of those. Bear trap. How's my meat doing, by the way? Ah, oh, that's pretty good. It's 1400 hours, we got a bit more exploring time left. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have no space. I don't need meat. Oh, this meat's kind of rotting a bit. I can put the Molotov there, freeze up two spaces. Maybe I'll toss the bottle as well. I've got plenty of empty bottles. Uh oh. Oh! Ooh! I thought I was hiding behind the tree well. Yeah, they're strong. That thing charged me a lot faster than I thought it would. I don't need wood. I've got plenty of wood. I need nails. Stone, that can stay. I'll take the bottle back for now. Christ. Bastard probably died of starvation. Ooh. There's a bunch of them there. 
three. Oh, if I can get them when they're all bundled up with a Molotov. I think that's a non-exploding corpse. Yes. I think... I mean, I don't really have the room for it, but I'm gonna go for it. Gotta wait for the right moment. I wanna get at least two of them together. Okay, nope. That didn't work too well. But, these heal you really good for a long time, so I'm just gonna go straight into combat. Let's do it. Actually, they don't heal you that fast, but they do heal you for a long time. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 there's a crate here. Didn't even notice it. Pills and stuff. Good. Guess I'm letting... Letting my, uh... Healing go to waste. I think they got too far away too fast. Yeah, they're back to their places. So my aim was correct, I just wasn't I just wasn't close enough. I do need to start heading back pretty soon. I only got one. Okay, that worked out. And there's this blood stain, but nothing here. I don't know what they ate, but they finished it. Okay, let's get the hell home. It's gonna be night in two and a half hours. So we're here. What is this? Whoa, this is this is a road. Oh, that's the road that leads to the um as the wolf put it, the old hag, the farmer. Where am I? This is well, let's go up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Keep running, keep running. Here's Beatrix's house. Okay, now I know where I am. I could definitely use more of these parts. I'm stopping for them because I need them for chain traps. Because I remember I used, like, all of my scrap on my shovel. And also, my shovel is close to breaking, so I need scrap to repair it. Okay, let's get back on the path so we can sprint. Tonight. Tonight I won't die. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Sorry. Already drank from it. This has been a very successful day. Hope the night is similar. Okay, oh, uh, 
let's cook the meat. Oh yeah, cook the meat will allow me to do another injection. Oh, this mushroom rotted apparently. Ah. Seems we have a new tier. I'm gonna have to choose another negative though. Vulnerability to poison will increase. I don't really mind that. My sight will get worse for a short amount of time when I receive damage. Mmm, I don't like that. Vulnerability to poison is fine. What's good? My blood will hurt enemies. Once a day, for about a minute, I will be able to see all around me. Once a day, I will be able to run for a short amount of time without losing stamina. That sounds like the most valuable. That means if you're in extreme danger, you can get the hell out of there. And I'm assuming time stops when you press the Q button to use a skill. So you could safely use the skill without dying. I'm gonna go with Runner. And then Vulnerability to Poison. I hope this shot doesn't trigger another vision. It's saving. I think it did. It did. The sound still resonates inside this mossy bell. church roof bends under the weight of the red oily clouds. Is a line. Guess I'm skipping it. <laughs> six, 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 six. It's different now. Zero, 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 zero. Is it just six, six, six? And they're gone again. Lockpick. Can use that to get over here. Drag marks that seem to be connecting the door to in here. Strange box. It's locked. The surface is all covered with scratches. Hmm. I don't see any passcodes on it. Uh. 
Whoa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wonder what would have happened if I killed it. It said a white dress. Remember, I still have the children's white dress, right? Isn't it white? Oh, I have the strange box now? Yeah, white dress. A white child-sized dress. Okay. Oh, I just realized the Wolfman's here. Hi. Meat. What's with the big eyes? <laughs> Scared? Bad dream? The wolf winks at me, baring his teeth slightly. I'll show you the strange box. Oh, it's one of these. The wolf grabs the box and starts sniffing it from every angle. I could swear I've heard his tail moving under his coat. An interesting find, Meat. Guess now you want to know what's inside, eh? Somewhere in the southwestern part of the old woods lies a place where you'll find a key to this box. Southwestern part of the old woods. That's the zone above us. I'm going to write that down to make sure I don't forget it. Okay, wrote it down. Well, meet. I'd be careful if I were you. Trust me. You don't want to open it by yourself. Bring me the key, and don't try to be a wise guy. You won't know what to do with it. Sounds like they just want whatever's inside for themselves. They seemed rather excited by what was in it, right? Didn't it say that it could swear they saw their, or like heard or saw their tail moving under their coat? It's interesting that they'd show up now. Anyway, um, I guess I'll dump the antlers. There's a bunch of stuff I want to dump, but like it's about to become nighttime, so I don't know if now's exactly the time. I think I'll just wait for the trader in the morning. But certainly the antlers, I don't think those have any function aside from selling. Anything I want to buy? I guess a, a wire? Well, I've got two lockpicks, I'm fine on wires. Oh, nails. Yeah, let's get a bunch of nails. Anything else? No, that's fine. Okay. Are they gonna stay here for nighttime? Are they just gonna like disappear or what? Are you gonna help me defend the place? Ah, oh, right. The fabric. Um, I think I'm gonna make another hotbar spot. I could use that. Okay. Let's make some chain traps. I really don't have much time at all, do I? Oh, I need to see if I can repair this. Oh, I need another scrap. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need—I really need to repair that before the night comes. That's my only weapon, and it's close to breaking. Put that down. Disarm it. We'll be fine. Yes, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try just, like, putting this on the outside. Or like sort of just in it, I guess. Oh, I didn't turn the... No, I did turn the generator on. Whew. Oh, it's good for a second. It's just that the lights are in a different place than they were before. It's 
Speaking of, I would... I would prefer that if this... I should put my weapon in my slot. I prefer it if this was down here. I see them out there. Nope, I'm just breaking my own thing. I saw their antlers poking through, though. They're like running into the wall. Which is fine by me. Alright, well, if you ever decide to come in there, here you go. The wolfman's just still here. You just gonna hang around? What if I get attacked? You just gonna watch? Wow, that hurt my shovel a lot, actually, to hit that. Damn, more than hitting an enemy. Oh, that's not good. Hope that doesn't herald the coming of that screaming thing. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have any Molotovs. It's deeply confused. I'm lucky I didn't hit the wolf man, damn. Heard another one. I'm just gonna poke it if it comes in actually. Oh no, 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 no. I don't have the stuff to barricade it. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Did that work? Oh. Christ. Fucking hell! Banshee. Okay, well, they can be killed, but then they split. And, ugh. Oh. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, I finally survived tonight with a Banshee. Yeah, surviving the night gains you the reputation with the traitor. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, guess I gotta take care of some goop. I wonder if that's because of the... Like, like, that's right about where I killed the Banshee. I wonder if it's because of the Banshee or just other stuff. Oh. Alright. Nothing in my journal. Well, I think I'll end it there. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we'll begin day 14.